Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to help the channel grow and keep up to date with our latest videos. Hi and welcome to another video by me, Flojo. Today we're looking at how we can get a bigger and better code area for our functions on Power Automate. So the expression area is where we would use our functions. And if like me, you've written some quite complex if statements, for example, they usually span past the viewable area in the expression box. So, Microsoft has created this new expression window, which is on the right hand side of your screen. It's much bigger, it's much easier to add dynamic content because you don't have to switch between tabs. But how do we actually get it? Well, let's jump over to Power Automate and I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, so we are on Power Automate. I've got a manual trigger for our flow and I've got a compose. Now let's say I want to do a concat. I'm gonna select this, select expression, and then I'm going to concatenate um, a string. So let's use, this is a very long string as an, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another one, see, example. Okay, so as you can see here, just by using this basic function to add two long strings together, I have to scroll through, it becomes very tedious to like jump between them, and I can't see everything. It's, it's kind of a hindrance at this point. So how do I make this better? Well, let's save this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the little cog at the top and click on view all power automate settings. Then we're gonna just turn on the experimental features. So if we press save now, and now I've got my compose. And as you can see here, it looks slightly different. So I'm just gonna click on it. And what we have now is we have a huge area for us to see in, and also our dynamic values are simply placed at the bottom. So rather than having to jump between two different tabs to get our variables, to get any dynamic content or anything like that, it's simply at the bottom and I can search it. So I could just put date in there, for example, and get the date from the manual trigger. But more importantly is I've got a larger field of view to actually write my functions. And this is incredibly helpful but the thing that you're going to notice is is there's not a list of functions that you could click on like the previous one but if you open up this section here what that's going to do is it's going to open up a website and it's going to list every function that you can possibly use so there it is, in under three minutes, we've managed to get a bigger expression box and that's how easy it is to do on Power Automate. Thanks for watching another video by me, Flo Joe. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button or select a video on your screen right now to continue learning more about the Power Platform.